Get up, you lazy fool. Hey guys, this is Game of Cow playing Mario, uh, Mario Star Road thing. I almost said Mario Golf for some reason there. This is not golf at all. I mean, does this look like golf to you? Seriously, silly cow. But yeah, we are going into this place, which is pretty much exactly the same sort of style as the Mario Galaxy ones, which is pretty awesome. This guy, you can talk to him, it's pretty awesome. Um, Yeah, gives him the creeps. I don't know. Yes, the Vanish Cap is here. This was pretty obvious considering the um, considering the fact that the Metal Cap was in the last level. Fairly obvious that the Vanish Cap would be in this one. And, well, this is something you should probably do at the start of every run of this stage because the that, that life is very, very easy to get. This place is very easy to die in. So put the two together, you kind of want to get that. Also, random star up there. Random life there as well. How on earth would you get that? Like, okay, I'm all up for putting coins and secret stuffs in hard to get to places, but how on earth would you get there? I don't know. It just, it looks so weird. Anyway, what I like about this level is, um, it kind of sticks to its roots of Mario Galaxiness. You can see this platform is actually, like, pulsating a little bit. It's um, it's really awesome because that's the sort of thing which Mario Galaxy did very well was that um, its boo levels were really creepy in that sense and because it's using the music as well it's it's just fitting. Also one coin that is completely not fitting because come on seriously that's just lame. It's a good job we're not really going for the coin star at the moment anyway. I have a feeling that this would be the first legit hard coin star to get, because although there's a lot of boos which all give blue coins, you know, there's a lot of sources of blue coins in this one, but you've got to go like all the way through the level in order to get them, and it's not that easy. You know, the, it's very, very easy to fall off on this stage, so... I have a feeling getting the blue coins on this, although there's a lot of them, look how many boos there are over there. Jeez. Yeah, I have a feeling, although there's a lot of them. Ah, but why? I don't know why I didn't spot that, actually, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of coins, but at the same time, there's a lot of scope to just flat out fail. So how would you get that star over there? Maybe that's, like, a specific thing. Uh, I can't get up there. Or can I? One interesting thing, a unique thing about this game compared to all the other 3D ones is that you do have the ability to crawl. And yeah, memory serving me correctly at this point, the crawling actually does let you go up slopes. Well, not all slopes, but at least some slopes, which is what we have here. On the... Oh, that blue coin switch looks like it would be a bit of a pain to reach. So, huh, don't know quite how I would get there, but I'm pretty sure, again, you'll have to, to get the coin star. Now here is one thing I don't like about Mario 64. You can see here, it's, um, it's the roof thing here. If you, um, if you miss that a little bit, it's just a big bitch, I suppose, to try and get up. I'm, I'm trying to figure out exactly how to say stuff here. Um, you try and grab onto the edge, but because there is a like tilted thing there, it um it doesn't let you grab onto the edge, so it sort of yeah just screws you up. Anyway, King Boo obviously over here, not really that big of a deal. His hitbox is very very weird though. I sort of just realised that now. Look at this, it's like jumping on him and he's nowhere near me. That's super weird. But yeah, it's not that hard to do when you're not trying to just go in and um, trash him before he does anything. But yeah, it's, it's, it's again exploration based but not that hard as first star. This, this level seems very linear compared to the original ghost house, which is, ha no, the original ghost level, which did also happen to be world 5. It's kind of interesting how that works out, but um, it's very linear in comparison, and whilst that's not a bad thing, because it sort of follows, it follows a little bit more of what um, Galaxy did, which is good because that's what it's referencing, but it, it does feel a little bit, maybe, basic in terms of um, what ghost houses usually are. It's not really much of a ghost 
house -y vibe. I guess the fact of it strictly isn't actually a ghost house is also contributing to the fact of it doesn't feel like a ghost house. I don't know, but um, it's still, my point is kind of there anyway, it doesn't exactly feel like a ghost level in the same sense as your typical canon ghost levels are. If that makes any form of sense whatsoever, then please let me know because I can't make sense of what I just said, so hell if anybody else can. Um, I haven't really noticed red coins in this level yet though. Maybe I'm just blind because that, that that's highly possible, I do tend to miss the obvious quite a lot, but I haven't noticed any red coins. So I'm curious now to see what that's going to hold for the future. Also, this jump. This jump looks annoying. Hmm. Yeah, that was what I sort of expected to happen in the end, is just trying to get up there and it's... Uh, you'll need either a big running start to make that or you'll need to get the double jump correct and I didn't get the double jump correct. I don't know. As I said though, it really doesn't take a whole lot of time to get back. It's gonna um, it's gonna take me, what, two minutes to get back? And for the record, the only reason I'm not getting that to that uh, life at the start is because I'm lazy, but um, totally is something you should do, and you know, that's that. Oh, is there a... no, there isn't a block up there. I For some reason I thought I saw a block up there then, but um, apparently not. Maybe you could get that life from here, if you could long jump over to that, and that isn't a thing that would just make you slip off, you might be able to get it from there. That's the only way that I can see it's possible to get that life, and these platforms do go down a little bit. They don't go down entirely, they just sort of stop, but the fact that they go down at all makes it annoying to actually get up here, so yeah. And well, that is a spider in the face, but uh, also the next star. you got to kind of go up here though, it makes it a bit more dangerous than it should be. But, you know, that that's what the game wanted to do, so that is what the game has done. A uh, long jump from there is actually not enough. Wow, I, I thought I was high enough there. Apparently not, so I'm going to have to be right on the top and long jump it from here. Okay then. I can, I can deal with that, it's just annoying, you know? <laughs> That is going to be interesting enough in its own right though, because now we have got to go into this place. Which, well we've done enough exploring of that side, the next star is actually over here, and the secret tunnel refers to getting into that pipe. So you've got to go into that pipe, and this is where things start getting a little bit annoying. Mostly because of this douchebag right here. You can see the book. That book has killed me so many times. It's unbelievable. It's so easy just to bounce off of him and die. Or just like miss him completely and then get killed because he actually goes away and hits you or something. And well, I'm not sure how obvious this is, but you can push the gravestone. So that is sort of an indicator that you can get here. I don't know that that's not the most obvious of things, but it is there and it's something that we can deal with, so yeah, follow the light. There's two things that Boo means, and we'll see the second one later, but the first one, the star is there. And this this is probably the first legit hard star and that I've like, picked up so far. If you fall off of this, it's um, instant death right below that. The, the thing is, you've got to land where the lights are. And this is actually surprisingly hard because, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of leeway for it. And, yeah, it's, it's scary. Very, very scary. It, it's not the hardest thing ever. At least it doesn't look like the hardest thing ever, but it's a lot harder than it than one would normally give it credit for. So yeah, just take your time with this, and you know, it's 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 a good throw gimmick type of thing though, because it it's similar to what Mario Galaxies do in the matter splatter stuff, because Mario Galaxy does tend to do that where they've got like platforms that disappear and stuff, and 
Yeah, it's an interesting sort of way of incorporating that into a Mario 64 level, but that doesn't make it particularly easy, however this time it looks like I've managed to make it first go, therefore making my argument look invalid. I don't know, but I managed to not get killed there. Wow, okay, I actually thought that was gonna kill me for some reason. But yeah, I... When I was doing this the first time, I actually spent a good freaking 20 minutes doing that. And I, n I never managed it in my practice run, to be honest. Not practice run. I'm not doing a freaking practice run. What am I talking about? My previous save file. Because I needed to get into this section anyway. So I figured I might as well try for um, the start. And that is the problem that can happen very regularly if you're not careful. Is that it's very easy to just run straight off the edge. But uh, yeah, I basically have never managed that apart from now. And yet, I've done it first time now. That's just wrong, man. Maybe I was too hasty before or something, or maybe I just didn't get the camera to work as well as it did there. But, yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. Also, why have I... Wow, I, I don't understand why I've not had any trouble with that book thing yet. Hey, they weren't there before. So that's how you're supposed to get up there. Oh, wow, that that's going to be entertaining. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can see that being annoying. A whole ton of rotating platforms up there. Maybe not the hardest thing ever, but, you know. Anyway, why am I going back down here, you might ask? Well, the second meaning for that booze, follow the light, and you would never really know this, is that actually the Switch Palace is around here. Pretty much, it's hard to really say exactly where. Wow! Hi there, edge of the screen. How are you doing? But yeah, the Switch Palace is right there. How are you actually supposed to get and guess that? I well, I kind of know because I kind of did guess that before. I just wasn't ever confident enough to go over there. But yeah, we now have Vanish Capness, and that's pretty awesome. This area is a little bit more annoying than it should be just because of the whole rotating cog thing. It makes it a bit harder to get around than I would like. But it's not that bad so long as you're competent at this game, which is something I'm kind of not yet, but I'm competent enough. And we've made this thing work, really. Now, of course there is going to be a secret star in here, but there's no red coins. So, the way that this works is, of course there's going to be something else that you've got to do instead, but, um, yeah, it's, it was kind of interesting. Over there, you can see the grating. If you remember from the first game, Vanish Caps let you get through gratings like that most of the time. Some of them don't work, but, you know, that that's, that's a design choice, I suppose, but, uh, yeah, oh, whoa, what the... Camera, why? Why did I almost fall off there as well? Also, if somebody could tell me where this song is from, that would be nice, because it sounds like a Cave Story one, but I don't want to say that it is, just in case it isn't. And for some reason you can slide on this, that's weird. But... Yeah, also, awesome use of the rabbit music. I don't know why, it just is. I'm gonna get rid of this guy because he's kind of in the way, you know. Priority number one now that I know that wasn't supposed to freaking happen, but yeah. You've seen it's secret points that you've got to get this time, and the secret points are actually indicated by the light. Yes, you have to look into the light, basically, to get them. You can see there's spots which we go into, and that will make us get the stuff. It's a little bit unintuitive, though, because you've got to jump for it. So it's not just walk into the light, it's actually jump into the light, which is a little bit sort of counterintuitive, but... Well, I don't know if it's counterintuitive as such, it's just weird. Anyway, I saw there was one up here, so yeah. Now, the last one. Oh god, this again, first, I'm just blind really, but this took me like, again, 20 minutes to find this thing. I ended up giving up the first time and just not bothering, but I came back to it. It's obviously through here, 
but if you're not very fast, then you'll um, you'll not be able to see. And it's actually over there is where the last one is. But you wouldn't really see that unless you were quick in getting through. So you know, unless you got lucky and just kind of went across this way just to kill the Goomba or something, and then you just happened to jump in it and go, oh hey, there's a secret point. Then you wouldn't really know that's there. But yeah, I've got to get the Vanish Cap again in order to get across, so that's what I'm hopefully not going to screw up in doing because I've done all the hardest part now and this is the- whoa, 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 do not backflip. You are supposed to be long jumping. You don't even need to long jump this really, it's just I've always been a bit more comfortable with that than jumping off of rotating stuff. Also, how would you get that life? I don't think you can long jump over there. You can long jump that though, god. My, um, wow, well, yeah, my nerves were kind of shot through that, but oh well. 17 stars, good times, you know, were had by all. I do normally tend to just do 3 stars per video is what I'm aiming for, but, you know, in these exceptional circumstances of getting the Switch Palaces, doing the 4th star is kind of there. And you know, because I'm kind of going outside again anyway, let's give this one go. Do I get the um get this open and it was running the opposite direction? Okay, really, that's just completely messed up. I did go the right way and I just considered it the wrong way for some reason. Don't know why I would do that, but whatever. So yeah, the idea is to time your long jumps so that you know you get the most out of them really, and it's not that hard. You can easily get across here and up in time, I suppose. It's a little bit tight, but you can see it's, it's not that bad. And Rabbit will give you a star when you pick him up. And he didn't say you could go whatever, just hit star and don't come back. I will quite happily do that, so that is actually five stars in this video. It's a lot more than I would normally do, but oh well. Two of them were bonus stars and they weren't exactly that hard to get. So it's a good enough reason. So yeah, we'll save that. And we can easily just phase out of there because apparently you can go from the out inside out, but you can't go from the outside in without the vanish cap. It's kind of weird. Anyway, this has been Gamer Cow playing this game known as Super Mario Star Road, and next time I'm going to be going over here. So, yeah, I kind of noticed before there was something here. When I paused the menu, when I paused the menu before coming in, basically, there was a thing over there which I noticed and I kind of want to explore. And I'm now just trying to get the angle again. I think I was in here, like actually in this one. Yeah, you can see there's actually a pipe over there and I was kind of curious that. You can also see what's past the 20 star thing as well. Just kind of scary. We're not going to look at that just now. But yeah, that's that's what I'm going to be doing next time. So yeah, join us for that. And well, I don't know whether it's an actual level or whether it's just a bonus thing. But we're going to have to find it out. So yeah, join again. Outro stuff done like three times. Shut up and end the video already. <laughs>